Hey guys, what's up? It is um, part two of the four part collection series. This is strictly my three wick candles. Um, I have a ton of them apparently. I'm not even sure how many I have. A lot. <laughs> um, the three, uh, there's a couple things I will not be showing in this video only because they are in the safest spot imaginable. I have a cat and a dog who just love to knock things over. And if they broke them, I would be heartbroken. So, I have two of the very large, tall glass luminaries that have either Rubicon Starburst or Sunflowers on them. I got them during the semi-annual sale. I had to go to two different stores to get them. They are in my previous haul videos, and once I figure out how to link those down below in the description box, you can go and check those out for yourself so you know what I'm talking about. And then the other luminary is the tri-colored it's like sea glass ombre it goes white light blue dark blue that's the only one i got i also got that during semi annual sale there are two candles that i do not have in this haul um and we're just gonna talk about them right now it is the south beach um suntan candle that's what the top of it looks like this is the color of the glass it's that wavy spiral glass i have five of these um i know what you're thinking excessive mush yes this candle, and I told, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it again, um, as I'm sitting here messing with this stupid dust cover that I can't stand. <laughs> um, and you're probably like, why don't you just put a lid on it? Because the lids on these, for whatever reason, this particular candle smell horrible. You take the lids off, you're like, oh my god, that's horrible. So I don't know if it's trapping something in, I don't know if it's tainting the candle, I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, but that's just, that's just that. And it says... Feel the warm sand underfoot and soak up the vibrant South Beach sun with a scent of orange blossoms, bright citrus, and soft coconut husk. I love these candles. I call them um, beach in a jar because when I was younger, my entire family, four or five times a summer, would come up to Maine to Papa Beach, which is one of the biggest beaches um, next to Old Orchard Beach. Um, and the old school copper tone was what my mom used to put on us. And that's exactly what this smells like. And I have burned two of these. I have one burning right now. The throw on these is amazing. It's not hugely overpowering, but it is enough to fill a room. Um, so when I burn two, because I burn one in the living room and one in the dining room, it's just the sun's coming in the window and you close your eyes. It's a warm day. You feel like you're at the beach. It is just such an emotional thing for me and there is one that I will not burn um, just because I love it that much. So there is that one. Sticking with that collection, I did, this is the only one that I got because it was the only one that I could find. Um, if you watch that, my whole video would have said you understand that I went outside and took it all away and snatched it off the, um, the display. That's how badly I wanted it. And then this the Malibu Citrus Glow. And it says, go on the ultimate California beach getaway with the scent of juicy oranges, clingy, juicy cling peaches, and a hint of jasmine. I did not smell any jasmine in this. On cold, it smells totally of peach. Um, I was super excited because when you smell the suntan candle and then you smell this one, this was the only one that kind of went together so I could light them together and it wouldn't be like fighting scents or gross or whatever. It doesn't have a super amazing throw. It's it's faint at best, so I'm glad I only got one of them. So, I'm not crazy about the color either. I mean, it's more of a mottled pumpkin orange, which is fine for fall, but I feel like they could have done something different for summer. But that's just my opinion, which we all know doesn't mean much. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to go through right at the moment. There's not. Okay, moving along. This, I have no idea how old it is. I've tried looking it up online. It was given to me as a gift. It I think was 2011, 2010, 2011, 2012-ish um, holiday series. Um, it's $20, which we all know they haven't been $20 in quite some time. And it is the Holiday Traditions Cinnamon Frosting. That's what it looks like. It was a repackaged. They did make this um, previously, and then they repackaged it into this one. This one is the repackaged version of it that I can tell you. And it says, top off holiday celebrations with the scrumptious scent of grated cinnamon, 
and cloves, vanilla bean, and whipped buttercream. Nope. I can't stand this candle. I really, really, I hate this candle. I don't want to say I hate it. I'm not a huge fan of in-your-face clove and cinnamon. I'm not. Um, there is a little, like, vanilla buttercream-esque here. But you know, the first time you smell it, it's like, it's like straight-up clove cinnamon. It's just, I don't like it. My husband loves it, so he can burn it when I'm not at home. So that's that one. And I don't know, it doesn't, it is a 14.5. It's a slate can. So I don't, I don't know. If you know, if you know when this was made, comment down below and let me know because I would love to know for sure because I don't like giving out incorrect information. Next up is one that I bought last year. Um, it was a BOGO deal right around Christmas time. I bought this for myself and wrapped it up and I bought one for my husband. Um, and it is the Golden Peach Sparkle. They did have them this year for $10, part of the $10 deal. I did not buy another one and I'll tell you why in a second. Here's a pretty blend of festive greenery, creamy vanilla, and juicy peach that's perfect for every holiday party. It smells way more peach in the jar. Like, it does have good throw, but it doesn't have the fill, fill up the room with peach throw that I wanted. So, if you have one of these, you haven't burned it, and you're looking for that overpowering wow in your face peach, this is not it. If you're looking for a subtle peach smell, this is it. It does get overpowered easily by other scents. Um, I have it in my kitchen, so it never stood up to anything that I had. If it was in maybe a living room or a dining room where you weren't cooking, it might be a different story. So that's that one. It does also soot. And I do trim my wicks religiously, and this just, this soots a lot. So that's why I did not get another one of those. Next up, and I do have two of these, and one of them I got in some annual sale, and one of them I got this year, and this is the older version, this is the new version, and you can see that they also changed the wick, the candle color, and I'm more partial to this label than this label, but I do love both labels. Just going to throw that up there. And this one says... Celebrate the season with a warm blend of toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and creamy vanilla reminiscent of a excuse me, cozy evening around the bonfire. This one says toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. They both smell the same. They're both 2250. They are both my favorite. I love, love, love this candle. I burned a little one um, at the camp and it in the open camp, it's basically one ginormous room. It's huge. I could smell it. So the throw on these, I'm hoping, is going to be just as good as the little ones. So I got those. Next up is, I burn this as little as possible because I love it that much. And it is the 2015 Mother's Day First Bloom Limited Edition Candle. And it's this beautiful, like... Green, green. It's coming off more like a mint green, but it's not. It's kind of a bright spring green. <coughs> and it says, celebrate Mother's Day by relaxing with a beautiful blend of lush floral, citrus, and perfect hint of hair. That is such exactly what this is. This thing is just spring. It's fresh. It's floral. It's just, it's so good. I burn this as little as possible. I burn it just a little bit to get the scent, and then I put it out because it's fantastic. I have not smelled anything that comes close to this. Um, so if you know of something that might smell close to this, let me know because I will definitely go and try it for myself. It does suck really bad. Um, this is another one that sucks, but I love it, so I don't care. Next up, and this is the one that I got for my husband last year for Christmas. It's this beautiful, I don't know, evergreen, teal green jar, texture jar, and it's the fresh balsam. It says, breathe in the invigorating fragrance of snow dust, balsam, fir trees, and eucalyptus leaves. That is like, <laughs> like I am not ready for winter, don't get me wrong, but this is just such a tree farm smell. This is like a classic New England Christmas smell. Like all the shops start like 
pumping this stuff through their vents, I swear, and make you shop and make you want to go shopping for Christmas. Um, and it also smells like when we go to get a Christmas tree that we cut our own, there's a little room where they take all the bells that you don't want and they stick them in there so that she can make the wreaths and the kissing bells and that's exactly what this smells like. Picture perfect Christmas wood smell. I love this candle and as soon as they come available in the stores, I'm going to be buying another one. Maybe too. I just love that candle. It's awesome. And the throw is fantastic absolutely fantastic it's awesome i love that candle i can't say enough good things about it moving along we have this one which i got in the spring or i think it came in the spring it was on sale and it is the white gardenia it's part of the colored glass series this is creamy white coastal gardenias blended with watery greens and soft woods in a loose floral scent it smells so lovely. Um, it definitely smells like florals. It definitely smells, smells like spring. The throw on this is awesome. Um, I burned it in my living room, and I could only burn it for a certain amount of time before I'd have to put it out. It was that strong. But I loved it. It was floral. It was fresh. It was pretty. This is probably one of my favorite candles that I do have. Um... Moving along, this is one of the, and I don't remember what they were called, it was part of the Summer Market Collection, or Spring Market Collection, and I don't remember the name of the candle collection, but basically it was like, um, the tricolored mango cooler, pina colada, raspberry citrus twist, um, island margarita, and then there was a watermelon lemonade, and then the blueberry twist, and I obviously got the blueberry twist. I just love the label. I thought it was super, super pretty. I love the ombre colors. And it says, Sweet Little Blueberries Pack a Big Fragrance Punch. Okay, and this creamy mix of wood vanilla and coconut. It smells like berries and cream. It smells like... There's something that I used to get as a child that smells like this. It's like, it's not like a real blueberries, so to speak. It's more of a menu manufactured blueberries, but it still smells fantastic. Kind of like blueberry pie meets like, you know, the old hubba bubba bubble gum. Yeah, that. But it smells really, really good, and I'm super excited to try burning it, which I haven't done yet. I'll probably wait till the middle of winter when I really need some, some spring love. Next up is part, <coughs> excuse me, of the Beach House Collection. And it's this beautiful sparkly wavy glass with these beautiful orange conch cells, conch shells. It's a pineapple mango. It says, a scent of tree ripened mango, white pineapple, and trace of warm island vanilla takes you to your ultimate dream at beach. So juicy, so fragrant, so just delicious. It is, it is awesome. I really wish I picked up another candle, and I still might. Um... Still it's around in December. I know there's a candle deal that happens in September, so in December, so if it's around, I might get another one. The throw on this is fantastic. It smells just like pineapples and juicy mangoes, and it's just it's delicious. I'm gonna hold on to this until I get another one because I really do like that that much. This one I got 75% off. This is not the lid that goes on to it. I needed some lids, and one of the ladies at the stores was really sweet and gave me a couple. Um, this is the Coastal Sun, and I got this during the semi-annual sales. This was 75% off. It smells so different burning. Catch some vibrant rays with this blend of vibrant orange, dusty grapefruit, and bright beach days. Definitely citrus. But it's not like... It's like a clean citrus, not like a crisp citrus, if that makes any sense. But it's just, it's warm and it's citrusy and it smells so good. The throw on this is amazing. I love this candle. That's why I'm like burning it so slow. Um, it does not soot. I do trim my wicks. It does not have puny wick syndrome. Yeah, you can see they're kind of curling, but that's as far as they go. That's it. They don't curl any more than that. So this is a really awesome candle. 
I'm just, I'm trying to find, those are more of like the, the spring summer candles. I'm trying to find some transition candles. I have not, for whatever reason, explored Bath and Body Works candles until last year. Um, and now I'm like hooked. <laughs> it's like part of my addiction. It's ridiculous. Next up, and this is new this year, and I have heard mixed reviews on it. It is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I love the label. And it says, Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallow, Creamy Sandalwood, White Ginger, and Praline Musk. It smells just like the body care, and I know a lot of people don't like that. Um, they don't want the candles to exactly match the body care. I like this. I absolutely love this. I love the fact that it's a spot-on dupe, for, or not dupe, but a spot-on, basically, carbon copy of the body care. That, to me, is why I bought it, because I loved it that much. And it smells fantastic. One of the girls at the stores where I buy it, at the store where I bought this from, she bought a ton of these, and she lit it, and she's like, mm, I don't think it's a great candle. I love the smell of it. It just doesn't have the punch that I wanted it to. So I was like, okay. And I told her that I'd check in with her because I was thinking about getting one. And then they went on sale. I forget, it was like two for 50, It was like $15 or two for 15 or buy one, get one. I don't even remember the exact deal. And I went back in, and I said, you know, I'm thinking of buying this one. You know, how did yours turn out? And she's like, I totally changed my mind. The smell on this was fantastic, and I'm going to get another one. And I said, oh, right, I'm going to get one and try it. So I love this candle, and I'm glad I got it, and I can't wait to burn it. That's more of a transitional one, so I may burn that one within the next month and um, see what's happening with that. Next up is another one that I've been dying for. It's the Autumn Sunshine, and it has, of course, sunflowers. And it shows up. Far more like pumpkin squash orange, but it's more of a melon orange. It's really, really pretty. And it says, chilled orange, California mandarin, golden amber, and green fur needles. It definitely smells like mandarins and oranges. But there's that punch of the fur that I love. Like, this is exactly like the warm sun beating on a pine forest. And when there's a little crispness to the air... Oh, I'm super excited to try this. I've heard mixed reviews about this one, too. Like, there are people who say it smells like gas, like it smells like kerosene, like it stinks. And there's other people who smell it and says that it smells fantastic. I will burn this. I will let you know in a future update. Um, I'm hoping it's as good as I think it's going to be because I would like to get another one. Um, but we shall see. So there's that one. Moving right along. This is the Rainbow Gardenia. This was part of the 50% off, but then I went down to 10 bucks, so I snatched one. And this is what it looks like. Pretty. It says the alluring floral scent of a beautiful island gardenia blended with fresh bamboo and sweet apple water inspires a tropical luxury. I'm sure what his inspired tropical luxury is, but it smells fantastic. Fantastic. Love this candle. Oh, you can smell the gardenia. Um, you can kind of smell the bamboo. It's like a beautiful mix of gardenia and bamboo. But there's also like a like a freshness in here that I'm absolutely in love with. So, can't wait to see what happens when I burn this one. It's more of a spring summer though, not a fall or transitional. This is another one of the Beach House collections in this beautiful jar and this beautiful color. It's Seaside Gardenia. Yes, I love gardenias. We're just going to establish that right now. Stroll and Sorch. <laughs> Stroll on the shore with a fragrance of gardenia trees swaying in soft sea air and fresh bamboo. Always gardenia with bamboos. Yeah, see, it basically smells just like the rainforest gardenia, just minus the little freshness of whatever it is in the rainforest one. But I'm super excited because if they throw anything like the white gardenia, my house is going to smell phenomenal. Phenomenal. Hoping it's overpowering, so it can keep a couple of people away. That's all I'm gonna say about that. 
Yep, because every time I have candles burning and they show up, I have to blow them out because I can't see in these, even though they're coming to my house. Anyway, next up is another one of the beach collection. It looks like this with three scallop shells. And it is the Sparkling Waves. I sat on the fence about this one for a long time. And then I just got it. A blend of cool citrus, watery bergamot, and musk that captures a moment when sunlight sparkles like diamonds on the water. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like bergamot, and I are just have a lot of hate relationship. If it's done lightly, I like it. If it's done heavy, it just it totally tweaks out my nose. I sneeze all the time, and it just gives me a headache, kind of. But this is done perfectly. There's definitely fresh citrus. Definitely a hint of bergamot, but it's not like overpowering. It just makes it that much more intense. It smells really, really, really good. These I got two of because I fell in love with the with the hand soaps, um, and then I smelled these and I was disappointed. I love these candles, don't get me wrong, but I was hoping more for that picturesque fall in Vermont picture that I got when smelling the hand soaps. I don't get that from these candles. I got two, so I'm not not sure yet. It is the crisp morning air. Beautiful candle. It's like a deep, not quite navy blue, but definitely a deep blue, and there's a beautiful yellow tree here. It has crisp fall breeze, white oak, golden amber wood, saffron, and soft cinnamon wood. See, it smells more like cologne. Almost like mahogany teakwood. It just it doesn't smell like the soap, which is what I was really, really hoping for. I was so excited for it. I've had a lot of people say the exact same thing. They were really hoping for more of the soap um, smell, but I did get two, so I don't know. I may take them back. I'm just I'm not not sure yet. Um, but I do like it. It does still smell good. It's just not what I was hoping it would smell like. Next up is another 75% off candle that I got for the semi-annual sale. It is the Paris and Pink Champagne. And it says, light up your holiday festivities with a sparkling blend of French champagne grapes, nectarine, and a pop of black currant inspired by the City of Light. <sighs> it smells bubbly. It definitely smells citrusy. Um, just just smells like fun, like a really nice fun candle. And I love the black raspberry like coloring in here, like the berry coloring. Beautiful candle. Very beautiful candle. Super stoked about that one. Next up is ah, I have two of these. This is the Tahiti Passion Flower. It looks like it's so pretty. Brings home the beauty of an island paradise with a soft blend of Tahitian flowers, orange blossoms, and summer musk. Smells so good. It's another beach ginger. It doesn't have the suntan smell at all. It is more of a beachy floral smell. With a, maybe a hint of the suntan in there. But it's very under undertone. It's very subdued. It's just it's a phenomenal candle, and I got two. A eleven. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen an A eleven. Interesting. So I got two of those. And then I got this is sweater weather and I love the picture. That is such a new England picture, which makes me really, really happy. And I love the blue. It says fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. The juniper berry like jumps at you right behind the eucalyptus. It's like they fight to be like in your face. I'm not a huge eucalyptus fan, but I've been told it just burns a lot better than it smells cold. But it does, it does remind me so much of, like, October mornings. Just that cool, crisp, like, sharp in your nose. Like, hello, it's fall time. Which I do like. So I got that one. This one I got in a really... really on the fence about it. It's the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. And it is the new one that just came out this year. 
and it says fresh pumpkin, warm caramel, grated cinnamon, and vanilla bean. Here is the label. Very pretty label. See, I don't think I like that. No, I don't think I do. It's a very in-your-face cinnamon, and I, I don't, I'm not even sure why I picked this up, to be honest with you. I think it might have been because it was on a special, and because I don't have any fall candles. I just don't think I like it. Um, it is very delicious. It's very foody smelling. Um, it's very sweet. It is, it is making my nose do some funny things right now. I think I'm going to have to take this back and exchange it today because it's just, I love it. It's a beautiful smell and I'm really bummed that I can't light it, but it is just, it is, it is just already affecting me and I'm just afraid that if I burn this, it's going to be a bad day. So I'm probably taking that back today. That's okay because rumor has it they've just come out with cranberry ones, which is my all-time absolute must-have candle. So I may just exchange it for one of those. We shall see. Moving right along. Now I, this is um one of the holders that I got. It's this little palm tree kind of something like brass. I'm not even really sure what color you classify that as. I thought it was cute. That was before I found the luminaries so. though. So that, and then this is probably the most coveted candle of all time, and it flew out the doors, and there was like four left when they went on $10, I'm really, really kicking myself for not getting another one. And there's the Lilac Blossom, that's what the top looks like, and it says, the bell of the spring garden, Lilac Blossom is the ultimate spring floral. Love that. Y'all know I love my lilacs, and probably if you live in any snowed in state, you know that when deep, like January, February hit, and you're snowed in, you're like, oh my god, where is spring? And you're like starting to go nuts and getting cabin fever. I would like this because it is extremely fragrant. The throw is ridiculous. Like, I had to put it out, like, it was so strong. You'd be like, oh my god, you gotta put that out. Um, as you can see, I have not trimmed the wicks. Um, which I will do, but I'm really sorry that I didn't get another one because it is just that amazing. Next up is another one that is super spring. It is my all time. Oh my god! I'm so glad I have one, which I've gotten two. I digress. It is the Amsterdam Spring Tulips. It was also part of the Destination Collection. And it says, treat yourself to the scent of fresh cut flowers, sweet lilac, pink freesia, and Dutch tulips. <sighs> yeah, yes. You could definitely burn this with your lilac candle. The smell is just <sighs> ridiculous. And the wicks are different, and I'm just noticing that. There is no metal in these at all. It smells like freesia, it smells like lilacs, it smells exactly like it says. This is just a beautiful, beautiful candle. So I'm saying I got one. I wish I'd gotten two. Maybe I'll find them again and I'll get some more. Next up is leaves. And somebody gave me one. They couldn't stand it. They only had like a little bit left, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. But I was like, alright, whatever. I like it. I like this candle a lot. The throw is pretty good. It's not super overpowering. Um, this is what it looks like, and it came out this year. And it says, red crisp apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. So you smell this, and the spice is like, like it makes me gag. Like, it really makes me, like, it's the clove. It really has an effect on me. But when you burn it, it does not smell like that. The clove is very subdued. It's very, almost like an undertone. So it's not horrible. So it smells really good and I like it. So, glad I got that. Alright, just did this one, didn't I? I get it? Anyway, this is part of the Weedy Beach Collection. This is the Sandra Pay Beach Cabana. And so crisp and clean. It's just really, really nice. And it says, explore the heart of the French Riviera with a mix of orange blossoms, warm sands, and salty sea air. It is exactly that. Like, it is just straight up 
warm beach air. It's crisp, it's clean, it's citrus, and it's one that I absolutely love. And I have two of them, so yay me. And a giant ant right there. There's bugs in my house, and I can know what to do with. There's me nuts. Next up in this beautiful fiery orange jar is a white barn candle. Pumpkin spice. Says, toast and pumpkin seeds, cinnamon stick, warm clove, and apple wood. To me, it screams pumpkin pie, at least in my house. This is exactly how my mom would make her pumpkin pie. Like when she would make it for Thanksgiving, this is exactly what they would smell like. A little less of something, though. But it smells so good and so fall, and that I can't wait to burn one of these. I'm super, super excited about having that one. Next up is a controversial candle. There's either you hate it or you love it. And it's one that we've had before, warm apple pie. And there's a beautiful red jar. Perfect for fall. And it says big gray smooth apple, melted brown sugar, and flaky homemade crust. See, I do get a tone in this particular one of some apple. There's a little bit of a tart, granny smooth apple when I first open it. And then you get the flaky pie crust. But I had to hunt for this sucker. When I went to the store to get this one, they had a bunch. They have a table and then they have some on the wall. I smelled them all to the point where I was like ready to throw up to find one that did not just smell like bakery crust. This one has a hint of apple, so I'm really hoping it translates when it burns because I've heard that it's a hit or miss. You either get one and you're lucky enough to have it smell like apple or it just flat out sucks. If it flat out sucks, I'm taking it back because I want apple, I want apple. Next up is a new one for me and I'm super excited to try it. It's pumpkin spice cheesecake. It says spicy pumpkin, graham cracker crust, whipped cream cheese. See, I almost get like a sour milk smell of this. But that could be like the buttercream frosting or like the cream cheese frosting. Because sometimes cream cheese frosting, depending on how it's made, if it's like homemade or not, does kind of have like a sour milk smell. But it does smell really decadent and good. So I'm really, really hoping it smells better. Warm than cold, which I know can sometimes happen. Next up is another candle holder. It is the new candle holder that just came out. It's the pedestal with my lovely little owl. I love this candle holder. I'm so happy I got it. Um, super excited I got it, actually. I love this thing. It's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. It's sparkly. And in that particular candle holder, I have... Oh, which is really pretty, I think. And it says, bright red gala apples, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fur balsam. See, I'm struggling with this one, too. I really, really am. Like, I almost think I like Autumn Sky better than I like this. I am struggling right now to really like this candle. And I don't know why. Like, I don't even understand. Like, you can smell... I think it's the, the combination of the eucalyptus and the fig. It's just... It's fighting with each other. It's not even, like, complementing each other. It's like... It's a straight up fight, which sucks because I really wanted to try this. Um, but I may be taking that back today because I'm just, I'm not going to fight with a candle like that. It's not, just not going to do it. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that one yet. Next up, and we're almost done, you guys, is one of the best apple candles I've ever smelled. It's got a honey, golden honey crisp, apple blossom, and fresh sugar cane. It is the honey crisp apple. I've smelled this burning, and it smelled really, really good. I come from apple country um, in Vermont. We would have orchards all over the place. We would pick apples 
every single year, every fall, it was a thing that we did. My mom baked ridiculously with apple. So this is a really good apple scent, and I'm super, super excited to try it, because I think it's a tra transitional. Like, I can burn it probably next month and go into fall, which is kind of what I'm going to try doing. And then the last one in my whole collection is one that speaks true to my heart because it reminds me of my grandmother and it is the honeysuckle and I just, I just love this candle. The throw on this is amazing. It's, it's wonderful. The pulling is a little weird. It's extremely slow. Like I don't know if this candle I don't know what the deal is because, like, it's an even cooler, but it's just so slow. Like, I think this candle is probably going to put me easily 45 to 50 hours of burn time. Like, it's that slow, which is awesome, and the throw is amazing, so I'm not going to complain. And that is my entire three-week candle collection, just three weeks, mind you, not the wallflowers or the other candles, which we're going to get into next. So... Go get yourself a snack. Go get yourself, I don't know, go walk, stretch your legs, shop, I don't know, eat something, and then check out my next video. So, thumbs up before I wave bye and say goodbye to you all. So, if you like this video, thumbs up. Um, give me a like. Comment down below. Let me know if there are candles that you got that you were disappointed in, if there's candles in my collection that you found were amazing and I'm in for a treat if I'm in for some disappointment. If you know the ages of some of the ones that I have that I'm unsure of, please leave me a comment down below. I need, I would love to have that information. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my viewing family. And for all of you still watching and enjoying everything that I do, thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I love what I do. I'm passionate about Bath & Body Works. If you can't tell, so until next video, you guys. Bye.